Well, if you look outside right now, it looks like spring might never come. But as Alyssa Borden found out, there's a place in southern Vermont where it's always green. Even on the snowiest and dreariest of Vermont's days, Pownell's Tony Fawcett is surrounded in lush green. If you look outside now, it's snowing. And if you just look in this jar, it's, it's nice and green. These terrariums taking over the shelves and window sills are a passion project turned full-time job for this southern Vermont man. I realized living in Vermont, um, I was surrounded by all kinds of amazing mosses. So it really just spurred me on to keep building them. Fawcett is a nature lover by birth, and despite its cold winters, he says Vermont is perfect for growing all sorts of moss, a match made in heaven as Fawcett decided to take his hobby to the next level during the pandemic. Green Mountain Moss is essentially a terrarium supply store, and his Instagram serves as a wealth of knowledge for anyone looking to grow their green thumb. I just started to post a lot of pictures and videos of, of my terrariums and what I was discovering and just helping other people um, figure out what's going on and how to make them. He's garnered over 30,000 followers with his pretty posts. Everyone's really jealous of the different species of moss I have around here. Um, so that, that gained me a lot of following, just showing off the different, making people jealous, basically. Fawcett sells Green Mountain Moss Terrarium Starter Kits on Etsy for about 25 bucks. He grows the moss in his own backyard. And once they're put together, watered and covered, they're nearly impossible to kill. A perfect option for those with a black thumb who need some green on a gray day. It's just a piece of outdoors inside, basically. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll show you how you can build your own terrarium using moss that could be growing right in your own backyard. In Pownall, Alyssa Borden, Channel 3 News, first at 4. Earlier in our broadcast, we introduced you to a Pownall man whose terrariums bring greenery during the cold months of the year in Vermont. Alyssa Borden is back now to show us how to put one together. This is Tony. He's the owner of Green Mountain Moss LLC. It's a small terrarium company in southern Vermont. And today, Tony's going to show us how to make our very own terrarium. Tony, thank you so much. You're welcome. So what are the basics? What do we need to get started? Um, well, I'm, we're going to build a, a moss terrarium today, and it's very basic. Um, moss is a non-vascular plant and doesn't require many nutrients at all. Um, so the substrate we're going to use is lava rock as the drainage layer. That is step number one, and we'll just pour this in. And what makes this important? Why do you need this? Well, the drainage layer um, helps when you water the plant, all the water sinks to the bottom, and you want it somewhere to sit. So that's why the drainage layer is important. And lava rock is extremely porous, so it holds the moisture well, which is also beneficial for the moss. So step two, we'll be adding the actual substrate. Um, and this contains a blend of ingredients that I put together myself. It includes sphagnum moss, um, some aqua soil, it has sand, and it also contains a little bit of the hummus rich dirt um, from the woods around here where the tree moss actually grows, which we'll be putting in just a second. So I'm using my stick here just to level out the, sand, the, uh, the substrate here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna poke a little hole right in the middle What's that for? It's for this little guy. Mm -hmm. So this is our tree moss, Clemasium americanum. And did you grow that? I did, it, um, out in my garden. Oh, I love it. Okay, great. <laughs> it grows naturally. Awesome. Um, so there's no roots, so you can just pop it right inside, just like that. It landed pretty well there in the hole. Just give a little poke down and bury it. And then we have a little bit of extra moss for the ground. Um, I like to use, for this particular kit, Anamodon rostratus. Um, it's commonly called yellow yarn moss, and it grows very low profile, so it's ideal to mimic things like grass, if you like to create little pictures in your terrariums, which I do. So, I just wanna drop a little piece in, down the side, real easy, and use your stick again just to, to flip it over and push it down firmly. It's a very high-tech tool. Yeah, it's just a, <laughs> a wooden dowel. That's all you need. You can use tweezers, things like that, but I find with tweezers, it kind of grabs it on the way up. So I feel like a stick 
is a lot easier for this type of this type of thing here. And look at that. It's like a little world inside this tiny jar. There we go. And then how wet do you have to keep it? Well, it comes with a little 10 mil spray bottle. Um, so just expel all this in the bottle itself. You just close the lid and that's it. You don't have to water it again. Um, it creates a, a tiny little ecosystem inside. So as the water condensates, it just falls back down and rewaters it. So it just survives as it is. You just put it on a on a window sill. A uh, window sill is is the best place I find. And if you could use some more tiny little green worlds in your life, we'll link to Tony's Instagram where you can find all of his work on our website at wcax.com. But for now, Tony, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.